Pokemon Ranger! I choose you! What's up guys, you Ranger Boy here and welcome to... I would like to say that this is some kind of discussion video, but that wouldn't be true at all. Oh no! This time, I'm ranting. And to be honest, I really needed to do so, because some Pokemon fans, reviewers, and even some of you guys in my comment section are complaining over and over again about one topic. Is the Carlos League rushed? Guys, for the very first time, I'm actually really, really disappointed in you. Because of the huge amount of BS you are talking about. That's why I will explain it as simple as possible of why the Carlos League is not rushed, including evidence and why the Carlos League for the very first time is actually something fresh. Let me elaborate. The first complaint of some of you guys is that the Carlos League really is short when it comes to episodes. Oh really? Let's compare, shall we? Kanto League, episode 74 until episode 80, 6 episodes. Jotu League, episode 265 until 272, 7 episodes. Hoenn League, Advanced Generation, Episode 125 until 131, 6 episodes. Sinnoh, Diamond Pearl, Episode 183 until 189, 6 episodes. Black and White, 103 until 108, 5 episodes. And now, we already have the Carlos League with 5 episodes. So, what are you actually complaining about? I can't believe that people really are complaining about the amount of episodes, when in reality the Pokemon anime has done that for years, so now we have debunked this complaint. Moving on to the next BS argument which is, the battles are rushed. Holy shit! I will explain why that is the case. First of all, like I said numerous times in my reviews, the Team Flare arc is about to come, so there is a good reason for that. Second, we don't have much time until November, and that's why we don't waste our freaking time with unnecessary battles against rivals like Trevor or Astrid, which never played a huge role as rivals of Ash anyway. The main rivals of Ash are Shota, Tiano, and Alan. The third point I want to point out is that the Carlos League indeed is different compared to every other league, and here is the reason for that. Let's have a closer look at Ash's history when it comes to the league. The Kanto League is 6 episodes long. Within those 6 episodes, a certain guy called Richie made his debut with a badass Pokemon and he defeated Ash. What do people say? Yay! Kanto League! Best league ever! Johto League, 7 episodes long. And within those episodes, another certain rival out of nowhere called Harrison made his debut with a badass Pokemon called Blaziken, defeated Ash. Yay! Kanto League! Best league ever! Hoenn League! Six episodes long, and another rival called Morrison came with a badass Meowth. He came, he saw, and defeated Ash. Hoenn League, fuck yeah, best league! Zino League, six episodes long. The ultimate troll called Tobias came and humiliated Ash with his legendary Pokemon. Yay, Darkrai is there, so who cares? Yay, Zino, best league ever! Unova League, five episodes long. Doesn't matter, right? But unlike the past leagues, Cameron even appeared before. Does it matter when it comes to league? Of course not! He reappeared with badass Pokemon Lucario and defeated Ash. And now, we have the Carlos League with 5 episodes already. And where is the badass trainer out of nowhere? Well, if you think about it, there actually is one. Astrid, trainer out of nowhere, badass Pokemon, not defeated by Ash. But Long, you can't compare that since, as you have said before, Astrid wasn't that important. She's not the main rival, right? Well guys, let me ask you this. Were Richie, Harrison, Morrison, Tobias and Cameron the rivals of Ash? Fuck no! Within the league battles between Ash and his main rivals, Ash defeated all of them. Gary, Paul and Trip. Those guys were the main rivals of Ash, not the other guys. Not only that Ash has the best chances ever to win the league, but also even if Shota or Alan are able to defeat Ash, it still makes Carlos different from all the other leagues already, since Shota indeed is a main rival of Ash. And even Alan is different compared to all the other BS rivals out of nowhere, because first, Alan was already famous due to the Mega Evolution special, and thanks to the Get the Ban Ban opening, we all anticipated Alan long time ago. We anticipated Alan long time ago. And secondly, Alan appeared at the beginning of X, Y, and Z, and battled against Ash twice. And because of the battles with Ash, he wanted to get stronger and stronger, and that's why he entered the league to not only encounter strong opponents, but also to once again fight against Ash. 
He's looking forward to it. That's the main difference between Alan and the BS rivals like Tobias, Harris, Morrison, etc. from the past. So now I gave you guys so much evidence that not only the Carlos League is not rushed like all the other ones before, but also that the Carlos League indeed already is different compared to the past. Now you guys know why I'm so upset about you guys and how dare, how dare you guys say that the league and the battles are rushed and how dare and how dare you guys say that every other league is better compared to Carlos without making any research at all. I'm disappointed at some of you guys and I'm also really disappointed at Pokemon anime reviewers like Tyrone, Dane or KG talking the exact same BS as you guys do. You guys are supposed to be reviewers of the freaking anime. As an anime reviewer you should have known that. You should have knowledge of all sagas. But right now it really appears like none of you guys made any research and I can't believe you guys can call yourself a reviewer without making any research. I'm done with you guys. <sighs> Sorry guys. I know I was really emotional about this topic but it had to be done. And I really really hope that you guys will understand my point of view. <sighs> See you guys in the comment section down below. Bye guys.